What's going on, everybody? It's another edition of the Truth TV Podcast. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And also, for video updates, hit the notification bell. And also, hit the like button on this video. Well, Draymond Green had a news conference um, last night. And he had some issues about the double standard of players in the NBA and their treatment. I want to play for you what Draymond Green said, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I would like to talk about something that's really bothering me, and uh, it's the treatment of players in this league. To to watch Andre Drummond before the game uh, sit on the sideline, then go to the back, and then come out in street clothes because a team is going to trade him. Because when James Harden asks for a trade, and essentially dogged it. I don't think there was no surprise or no, you know, there's no one's going to fight back that James was dogging it his last days in Houston. But he was castrated for wanting to go to a different team, and everybody destroyed that man. And yet a team can come out and say, oh, we want to trade a guy, and then that guy is to go sit. And if he doesn't stay professional, then he's a cancer and he's not good in someone's locker room and he's the issue. And we've seen situations of Harrison Barnes getting pulled off the bench. You know, DeMarcus Cousins finding out that he's traded in an interview after the All-Star game. And we continue to let this happen, but I got fined for stating my opinion of what I thought should happen with another player. But teams can come out and continue to say, oh, we're trading guys, we're not playing you and yet we're to stay professional. At some point, as players, we need to be treated with the same respect and have the same rights that the team can have. Because as a player, you're the worst person in the world when you want a different situation. But a, but a team can say they're trading you, and that man is to stay in shape. He is to stay professional. And if not, his career is on the line. At some point, this league has to protect the players from embarrassment like that. You know, we talk all of this stuff about you can't do this, you can't say that publicly. If you say that publicly, you're fine. Anthony Davis got fined, I think, $100,000 or something like that for demanding a trade publicly. But you can say Andre Drummond's getting traded publicly and we're looking to trade him publicly and he's to stay professional and just deal with it. But then when Kyrie Irving say, oh, my mental health is off, Everybody go crazy about that too. Do you not think that affects someone mentally? As much as we put into this game to be great, to come out here and be in shape, to produce for fans every single night, and most importantly, to help your team win. Do you think that doesn't affect someone mentally? But as players, we're told to, ah, oh, no, you can't say that, you can't say this, but teams can. It goes along the same lines of when, when everyone wants to say, Oh man, that young guy can't figure it out. But no one wants to say the organization can't figure it out. At some point, the players must be respected in these situations. And it's ridiculous. And I'm sick of seeing it. Y'all have a great night. I'll see y'all tomorrow or Wednesday. Okay, so you heard what Draymond Green said about, you know, the double standard that if a player wants to demand a trade, he shouldn't say that. If a player you know, says he doesn't want to be here. He's the worst person. He's a bad teammate. Now, what I am going to say, and at some point, everything can't be done in the public eye. Everything has to be sometimes done behind the scenes. Because when stuff starts leaking out in public and will start, start coming out into the press and on cable news, ESPN, Fox Sports, and everything like that, you know, those TV networks, they're going to, you know, find a way to, you know, get ratings. So they're going to say, well, James Harden is being a disruptive teammate. They're going to say Draymond Bean is being disruptive. Anthony Davis is being disruptive. He's a bad person for demanding a trade. Let me tell you something. I don't have a problem with players sitting there saying, you know what? I think it'll be in my best interest for me to go to such and such. I don't, for example, James Harden. Now, 
Some people may not have agreed how the way James Harden handled it, but here's how I would have handled it. I would have went to Houston executives and said, listen, I feel as though that this situation is not good. I don't see us winning, competing for a championship no time soon. So it would be in my best interest for me to go somewhere else for me to have a chance to win a title. Okay, but I'm still going to play and I'm going to give 100% every night until that trade is completed. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go out there publicly. I'm not going to tweet it out. I'm not going to do none of that. Because that's when it caused controversy. I'm going to be the consummate professionals. Draymond Green does have a point. There is a double standard between how players and the team act. Because one thing is Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin did not play yesterday. Because it was known publicly that they were trying to trade them. So I think Blake Griffin didn't wasn't with the team yesterday. Andre Drummond sat on the bench. And that's what Draymond Green was alluding to. Is that you have to sit on the bench. You have to be quiet. You can't say a word. You have to act like the consummate professional. You can't do this. You sit with your hands folded and be a good little boy. That's what that's what Draymond Green was saying. Basically. And if you say something publicly, if you say something, then you're the bad guy. That's what he was alluding to. And then I and somebody said, and, and I'm going to read a comment that somebody said before. It says it has nothing to do with an African-American player requesting a trade. Carson Wentz has cr- got crushed by the local and national media for attempting to force his way out of Philadelphia. His name is being dragged through the mud and his character is being assassinated. It's the same thing. The player gets played very handsomely to play a kid's game. They should be a professional in all aspects of their job. Don't be a distraction or the media will crush you. This comes out with the territory of being a highly paid professional athlete. If you don't like the scrutiny, you're in the wrong business. Number one, we don't know what Carson Wentz said. All of this coming out is speculation. We haven't heard Carson Wentz say anything. And it's in the best interest of Carson Wentz not to say anything. You know, he's just sitting there being quiet. And, you know, they're going to, and people will make up speculations. People will say they have sources saying this and that and the third. But we haven't heard Carson Wentz speak. He probably isn't going to speak. But we're not even going there. The, my thing is, the NBA has always tried to control the players. The NBA has all white owners except one, which is Michael Jordan. And I've said this before. The players are in control of the league. Whether some people like it or not, it is the truth. So with that being said, the players get all of a sudden say, you know what? I don't want to play for you no more. We're going to start our own league. And I've been saying this since the Donald Sterling thing happened. I've been saying that with that boycott where they sat there and put their shirts inside out. I even came on here years ago publicly and said, you know what? They shouldn't have played that day. They should not have played that day. They should have boycotted the games until Donald Sterling was out as owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, but they continue and continue to play. So at the end of the day, players are worried about a championship. Players are worried about a piece of jewelry on their ring instead of morals. Players could start their own league if they wanted to because they have the money. These players have the money. They have the power. They can start their own league. This is what the owners would do. The owners want you to be a good little boy. They don't want you to say anything. And if you say something, you're going to be dragged and your name is going to be mud. And this is just the way it is in the NBA and all sports. You know, we we, we can sit there and like it, not like it, hate it or whatever. But I don't have an issue with what Draymond Green said because he's right. You know, 
owners can say things publicly, but if players come out and say it, their career is on the line. They're the worst teammate. They're a miserable human being. Colin Kaepernick, for example. Colin Kaepernick took a knee. He's kicked out of the league. Because he took a knee? Because you can't protest. You can't complain about police brutality. If somebody does, they'll tell you, well, you should just shut up and throw a football or you should just shut up and dribble. You should stick to sports. This is basically what it is. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Tell me what you think. Was Draymond Green right at what he said or he should have kept his comments to himself? Make sure you like the video, hit that notification button and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.